the charge of the goddess. Whenever you have need of anything, once in a month, and better it be when the moon is full, then shall you assemble in some secret place and adore the spirit of me, who am queen of all witches. There shall you assemble, you who are fain to learn all sorcery, yet have not won its deepest secrets. To these will I teach things that are yet unknown. And you shall be free from slavery, and as a sign that you are truly free, you shall be naked in your rights. And you shall dance, sing, feast, make music and love, all in my praise. For mine is the ecstasy of the spirit, and mine also is joy on earth, for my law is love unto all beings. Keep pure your highest ideal, strive ever towards it. Let naught stop you or turn you aside, for mine is the secret door which opens upon the land of youth, and mine is the cup of the wine of life, and the cauldron of Caridwin, which is the holy grail of immortality. I am the gracious goddess, who gives the gift of joy unto the heart of man. Upon earth I give the knowledge of the spirit eternal, and beyond death I give peace and freedom and reunion with those who have gone before. Nor do I demand sacrifice, for behold, I am the mother of all living, and my love is poured out upon the earth. Hear ye the words of the star goddess, she in the dust of whose feet are the hosts of heaven, whose body encircles the universe. I am the beauty of the green earth, the white moon among the stars, and the mystery of the waters, and the desire of the heart of man. Call unto thy soul, arise, and come unto me, for I am the soul of nature who gives life to the universe. From me all things proceed, and unto me all things must return. And before my face, beloved of gods and of men, let thine innermost self be enfolded in the rapture of the infinite. Let my worship be in the heart that rejoices, for behold, all acts of love and pleasure are my rituals. And therefore let there be beauty and strength, power and compassion, honor and humility, mirth and reverence within you. And thou who thinks to seek for me, know thy seeking and yearning shall avail thee not, unless you know the mystery, that if that which you seek you find not within ye, that wilt never find it without thee. For behold, I have been with thee from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end of desire.